Now to some action. Women's tournament with limited attendance policy. A handful of Rockets, friends, and family members in Cleveland. Second quarter, Toledo down five. Tatiana Davis from deep hits the three. Davis 11 points off the bench, providing a big boost in the first half. Rockets down by as many as 11 in the second, but coming back, Sophia Ward in the leaner. UT down five at the half. In the third, momentum carries right over Mariella Santucci from behind the arc. Rockets down two. Later in the third, all Toledo. Sarah Rokinen connects from deep, giving Toledo their first lead since the early going. Senior with a dozen. Rockets on a 15-0 run. Tanaya Beecham in the post. Rogers grad with 14. Toledo up 54-44 going into the final quarter of play. Central trips a chips away at the lead, but Rockets always with an answer. Nakaya Black hits the three. Black with 13 points, and the Rockets are moving on. Freshman Kanisha Lockett adding 11. Toledo wins it 78-71, upsetting the top seed in the tournament. They'll play Ohio Friday morning at 11 o'clock in the semifinals. Mark Kuntz has more from Cleveland. A little over a week ago at Savage Arena, the Rockets knocked off the regular season champion Central Michigan Chippewas. Today in Cleveland, different arena, different atmosphere, same result as UT is moving on to the MAC semifinals. I, I just, I love the effort, but I think one thing stands true with this team. You know, when you love one another, you play harder for one another. And this team really, really cares deeply about each other, and they, want, they didn't want to let each other down. Um, I just think it's about the want. Um, we want it for the, the girls sitting next to us, you know. It's a bigger why, it's a bigger reason. So you come out and you give everything that you have, and you make sure that you leave it all on the floor every night. We wasn't satisfied with the first half, so we knew second half we had to come in hungrier. And I feel like our team most definitely wanted this game. Our defense, we held them to five. An extremely talented offensive team to five in the third quarter. That was a critical stretch for us. We never worry about the spurt. Um, I feel like that's it's such a commonly used basketball term, but it's always a feel for us. Like we're, a, I said it before, we're a feel and energy type of team. You know, we look up there and we never worry about how much we're up or down. We looked up one time, I'm like, man, we're up nine. You know what I mean? Because we're literally, we're just playing basketball. We're just having fun with each other. Mariella Santucci plagued by foul trouble in the first half, but plenty of other Rockets able to step up. In fact, five different UT players scoring in double figures. Two nights ago, the one thing I said to our kids was when we went on a run to win this tournament, a different player stepped up every night. I thought that Sophia Wired stepped up today in her absence and played really well. I thought that Sarah Rokinen stepped up and hit some big shots, and she did that at Akron as well. And I also thought that Tatiana Davis, her 10 points in the first half, helped us not miss Mari as much. Earlier this week, the MAC announcing the all-league teams. No Rockets were honored, but Coach Cullip says you don't have to have an all-league player to be an all-league team. In Cleveland, Mark Kuntz, BCSN.